May 23, 2017, Day 1 It's painful to recall. They now call the heart of Marawi City Ground Zero, or the most affected area. The siege begins with shootings and bombings. The ISIS free the prisoners, offering guns to those who wish to join them, and setting free those who do not. Day 2, roughly around 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., the looting begins. Three major bridge crossings now are occupied by the ISIS. Houses and churches have been set on fire. Day 3. President Rodrigo Duterte declares martial law. Some civilians begin evacuating, while others hide in fear. It is now November 2018. It's been months since the war has been over. 300,000 people have been displaced, including children. It's literally like a zombie apocalypse movie set. There's an outpost, there are checkpoints, there's a bridge with two sides of the border. One step further and you can almost hear the echo of the war. The silence in the air is deafening. The cool of the breeze can bring you to tears. You want to know and see just a little bit more, but everyone has to leave before the last light. There's no amount of technology, 3D or 4D movie experience that would recreate what it really feels like to be there. You feel the hate through the walls, you smell the fear off the ground. But when you speak to the survivors of this war, you hear hope in their voices, you see strength in their eyes. Ready on the left? Yes. Ready on the center? Ready! Moodle five! Yay! I am so privileged talaga na nagsasalita ako ngayon dito sa harap ng lahat. The people of the lake have beautiful hearts. They have warrior blood running through their veins. They might have experienced a recent war, but they don't fail to inspire in their resilient ways. No profession demands so much than being a soldier, yet I am willing to serve and offer my life for peace and freedom. Maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. I am Katerina Rodriguez, Miss World Philippines 2018. I have been a peace activist ever since I spoke in behalf of the Filipino youth at the fifth round of peace talks between our government and the Communist Party of the Philippines in the Netherlands last 2017. I am one of the thousands who have lost sleep over the war in Marawi, a city in the southern part of the Philippines that has been torn to shreds by the ISIS extremists. ISIS found it very easy to prey upon the impressionable young minds. 60 to 70 percent of their recruits were children and out-of-school youths. ISIS offered them allowances and scholarships in exchange for embracing the ISIS way. The war came and besieged the city for months on end. It ended a year ago. Marawi is now at the beginning of its recovery and rebuilding. I and several passionate artists have visited the city a couple of times, bringing with us books, food, and our indomitable will to help in any way we could. You're welcome! Do you like Chicken Joy? Yeah! form yung ibon na anong shape? Heart! So yun yung regalo namin para sa inyo. Sana magustuhan ninyo. Thank you! Very much! Our hope in the redevelopment of Marawi lies within the children. Their healing and education is the foundation of the future. They are the true heroes as they are the first generation of what will be the new Marawi. A friend introduced me to the Teach Peace Build Peace movement, 
a nonpartisan and nonprofit organization that aims to make every Filipino child and youth a peace builder. Part of the Teach Peace Build Peace program is the Schools and Communities of Peace Heroes Formation program. Its aim is to create a culture of peace in schools and communities through innovative peace education program, transforming children and youth to become leaders in advocating peace as a way of life. Education, not violence, is the solution to our differences. I went to one of these model schools in Marawi and interacted with the children. Hosnur Saliha. I'm 10 years old. Jan Roy. Viking. Ora. Best friends kayo? Oh. I want to ask your experience in siege. Yung mga estudyante doon, nag-aaral sila ng Arabic. Punta doon yung mga ISIS para awan. Para maging ISIS din sila. Sabi na ang nanay ko, ano do? Huwag kami doon lumabas. Baka magbari na sila, baka masugat na kami. Isang araw ako dito sa ilalim ng kama. At takot ka? Yes. Ano gusto mo magiging? Doktor. Bakit doktor? Para matulungan ang mga taong nagkakasakit. Maging chef. Bakit siya? Para makakain ng mga bata ng masarap. Engineer. Wala, dito walang mga tulong sa akin. Gumagawa ng kalsada. Talaga doktor? Kasi naspital yung tatay ko. Kung walang peace, kaya mo ba matupad ng pangarap mo? Hindi. Parang uh, walang kapayapaan, eh. nagigera sila. Ano ka makapag-aral? Hindi <laughs> makapaghanap buhay yung tatay mo. Nag-away-away sila. Mahirap, mahirap magano kapag nag-away-away sila. Kung may peace sa isang lugar, lahat ng pangarap ng mga tao doon ay matutupad kasi nagtutulong-tulungan sila. Para matulungan nila ako maging, maging chef. Even children as young as four who have experienced months of war, bombings, dead bodies, hunger, and losing their homes and loved ones taught me one thing, that to dream is what makes people love life even when it's painful. I believe in these children, these growing peace heroes. Through peace education, they will learn that we may not be brothers and sisters in religion or culture, but we are in humanity. I have initiated Project Become, a mission to bring together people to support our children and youth through peace education. I aim to help the Teach Peace Build Peace movement to expand past Marawi to the rest of the nation and hopefully one day the world. In order to achieve this goal, we need to contextualize the curriculum in accordance to the community and to build the schools and classrooms. They lack the funds to build the infrastructure, to train the teachers, to publish the learning resources, books, and materials. The school I visited was built through donations from the thousands of Filipinos who contributed through the Kapusa Foundation. Ideally, we hope to reach the people and the government of all the nations worldwide to participate in this movement. Project Become aspires children to become whatever they want in life, to keep dreaming, to become peace. This project working with the Teach Peace Build Peace movement is part of an even bigger vision a vision creating a sustainable purpose for our youth and the future eliminating discrimination of religion, gender, and race. Imagine what 8 billion people could accomplish if we all loved and respected one another. Peace is possible, and this journey of Project Become begins with our youth.